Hey, what's going on, guys? IO Studios here from the Cinema 4D tutorial. Today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a gold material for Cinema 4D Octane. Um, so, yeah, let's get started. Um, we're going to go ahead and head down here, and we're going to make a new material, shader, C4D Octane, Octane material. And we're going to open it up. And you know, we may as well start our um, preview here. Like preview. All right, there we go. Let's start it up. Um, we're going to set the material type to glossy. I'm going to go to node editor. And uh, we'll set up our node editor right here, so we can see preview. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go to our index. We're going to set that to about um, 6.5-ish. Should be good. And um, actually, we're going to go ahead and we're going to apply this uh, material to our um, model there. Got it glossy now. So now you've got awesome material. Uh, glossy material, I mean. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add an RGB spectrum into our diffuse pop it right there and we're just gonna make it about five percent black we're gonna set the, the black over here we're gonna set that to about five percent and um, we're gonna go for our specular <clears throat> we're gonna grab a gradient um, delete the two knots here click on them delete them both set the mode to complex drag it into the specular put that right there um, for the input we're gonna use a fall off <clears throat> and for the uh, start and end, we're going to use an image texture, not an image texture, nope, um, we're going to use uh, RGB spectrum, I mean, I'm going to copy and paste two of them, oh, that was three, we're just going to copy and paste two of them, and we're going to put that there, and then that there, <clears throat> and for, actually no, we're going to delete one of them, and we're going to go to the top one, and we're going to go ahead and go to your color picker, and choose a nice, like, yellow, orange-ish kind of color, just like that, kind of. Yeah, just like that should work. A uh, nice kind of gold material. Copy that, paste it over there. Actually, these uh, th uh, maybe a bit too too bright. Nah, no, nah, it's fine. We'll leave it like that. You may want to change the color if you want to a bit, but anyway. Uh, for the roughness, we're going to grab a gradient, drop it into the roughness. There we go, and we'll use um, we'll just use an. Uh, image texture that way you can use a um, you can use an image if you want to you can use a roughness map so I'm gonna drop that under there <clears throat> just like that uh, and in the gradient here um, go to your gradient click it there uh, go to the, uh, click the little arrow there I mean click the first knot and the position um, we will set that to I think 35 we'll try that <clears throat> how's that look 35 Let's see how does 40 look um, yeah, 35 or 40 works pretty well. We'll do 35. And, um, yeah, that, that's pretty much that. Um, that's it. The gold material, and you can see here, pretty nice gold material. Um, so, yeah, that's that. Uh, yeah, if you guys enjoy the video, uh, leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and, um, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Bye!